Hi everyone, and now we're going to solve question 25 from the chapter review. Chapter review, question 25 from chapter 5. Chapter 5. The question is about, uh, let's read the question first. In the question we have uh, two currents running in opposite directions in a two parallel wires, A and B, at the distance of one meter apart. When the distance between two wires is through the wires, let's have these two wires. This is the wire, and that's one, another wire. The distance between these two wires is how many meter? One meter, so from that point to that point, it is equal to one meter, okay. If the current IA, as you see, if a current IA is equal to one over third of IB, so in another word, we can say IA is equal to one over three IB in the question I have this. So I can just switch this one to that format, IB is equal to three times IA. Okay, so it means the current of IB is much larger than IA. So let's say that's the wire, A. Eh? That's the I, sorry, IB. This one is going to be I A. So it means that's a wire A. That's the wire B. Okay. Now, we want to find out a point, determine the point along the normal to the wires where the total magnetic field is zero. So B net, is equal to zero, which it means B on wire A is equal to field on wire B, which means this one. So if I open the formula, field is equal to what? Mu naught, because it's a straight wire, so mu naught I over two pi D. If it is B A, wire A, I have to say current A, distance A, must be equal to mu naught IB over 2 pi dB. This is from the wire B. This is the two formulas, which is they are equal to each other. Okay, now let's indicate the position. Let's just indicate the uh, where we should find out the uh, magnetic field is equal to zero. Guys, as you know, we have three regions. That's the region number one, two, or three. I have to indicate the direction of the magnetic field in these regions. Let's say direction of the magnetic field for the wire A, B, when the current is coming down, the magnetic field in that region in the between the wires is E. B for wire B, it's in. And for wire A, when the current going up, again it is in. So B A it is in. This is the direction of the two magnetic fields, which we're going to use our right hand rule. The thumb is for the direction of the current A, which is going up, and the forefinger is for the uh, magnetic field, which is going into the screen. And the same thing for wire B. So it cannot be in that area. That's why we're just going to remove the Bs from that area. We don't need the area number two. So we only have area number two cannot be area number one and two, one and three can be. In that area, as you see, magnetic field, wire B, the direction of it is out of the board. Magnetic field of the wire A, that area from the left side, from the right side, sorry, of the wire A, it is always into the board. So as you see, we have two different fields, with the two, we have two fields with a different direction. So it means, that I can have the area, which is the net magnetic field is equal to zero. And I have the same thing over there. B, B, it is into in that case, and B, A, it is out of. So it means I have an area number one and a region number one, region number three. Which one you should choose, that's important. For choosing the 
sides, which is the net magnetic field is equal to zero, you have to follow this one. Which of the wires it has more current? The distance, the point should be far away from that wire. As you see, according to that relationship, according to that relationship, wire B it has more current than wire A. So the point should be much far away from the wire, much far away from the wire B. So let's say that's the point. Let's just draw the point. That's going to be the our point. Now, why we said it should be far from the wire B? Because it has more current. More current with less distance, it will have more magnetic field, which is, it means in that area, net magnetic field is not equal to zero. That's why I did not use that site. So now the net magnetic field is equal to zero at that point. Now, we indicate the points, we know the points. Let's name that point, the position of that point, bring it near a bit, and that one a bit, okay. Let's say this distance, this distance, it is equal to, it is from the wire A, so I will name it as a DA. But from the wire B, from the wire B, this distance, all, isn't it equal to the 1M plus DA? Let's clean that one up. Okay, we don't need this one anymore. Let's just clean that one up. Okay. So this is a wire. Okay. So easily I can say that DB, the distance from the wire B, it's equal to db is equal to da plus one meter db is equal to da plus one meter guys so we're going to just apply it in the formula mu naught by the way mu naught with the mu naught will cancel each other out two pi with the two pi they cancel each other out only one e easy things will remain IA over DA equal to IB over DB. So IA I'll write down as itself. DA I'll write down. But in a state of IB, may I say 3 IA? Yes, of course. I was just replaced. And instead of db, may I say da plus 1? Of course, because we said da, db is equal to da plus 1. Now, easily I can cancel the da with the da, right? Ia, sorry, with the ia. Now, I can just use some math for finding the unknown. Now, we have 1 over da. It's equal to... 3 over da plus 1. Now, if I do the cross product, I will see 3da is equal to da plus 1. Now, it will be 3 minus 1. 3da minus da equal to 1. So, 2da is equal to 1, which is da is equal to 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5 meter. So it means this distance, this distance from the wire A, it's equal to 0 0.5 meter. So totally from the wire B to the point, it might be equal to 1.5, which is 0 0.5 plus 1 is equal to dB. Three times, guys, look. Three times the current of wire B is greater than the wire A. The distance is three times larger. Three times larger than the distance of DA. I hope you understand that question. Now, if I just change the question to something else, if I just simply change the direction of the current to the same direction, guys, if I make the directions 
same direction. What is going to change? If I make the direction of wire A and wire B, same direction, I, B, I, A. You see that in the, the three regions that I will have, in between them, in between the two wires, I will have two different fields. I will have two different fields, which is only in that region, I will have V net equal to zero. In other regions, no, they are not going to be equal to zero because the fields are having the same direction. But in between them, you see for RA, it is out, B, A out, and for BB, it is in. So as you see, B, B, sorry, it is in. In that case, I can have a net magnetic field equal to zero. Uh, so what will change in that case? Only things will change is that conventions, guys, is that one, which as we said, IB is greater, IB is greater. Let's clean that one up. Until now, it is, there is no problem, but now we just need to start cleaning over there. And then we're gonna go ahead with the change. Okay. Now we know the point, the point is in between. That's the point which is then then magnetic field. It's in that area. It is near to which wire? Which wire has less current? It should be near to that wire. So let's say it's near to that point. And I don't have to forget that the distance between these two wires is equal to one meter. Now this point, this point over there this distance, I will name it as a DA, okay? This is the DA because it's from the wire A. The point from the, the distance from the point, from the point to the wire B, look, that, that's the only change. I will just say it is equal to one minus DA. Before we said one plus DA, but now we're gonna say one minus DA because this one, if I minus it, I will have this part, which is equal to the same thing, dB. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead with the solution, and you're going to see the result, how it will change. IA, I'll write down as itself. dA equal to IB3 IA. I'll replace it, as we said. Instead of dB, we're just going to say 1 minus dA. Now I can cancel IA with the IA, so 1 over dA is equal to 3 over 1 minus dA. Now 3 dA, it's equal to 1 minus dA. So dA will go to the other side, it will be 3 dA plus dA. And instead of saying minus, it becomes plus. So it will be 4dA equal to 1. So dA is equal to 1 over 4 meter. So dA is equal to 0 0.25. And the other one is 0 0.75, which is dB. 0 0.75 meter.